Far be it from me to glory except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. For neither circumcision counts for anything, nor uncircumcision, but new creation. Peace and mercy upon all who walk by this rule. We heard this passage today, brothers and sisters, from the letter to the Galatians, because today is the Sunday before the festival of the exaltation of the Holy Cross, which we celebrate this Tuesday, being the 14th of September. And by way of preparation for that festival, we are given pause to consider and think what the cross means for us. The cross, the symbol of our faith. The cross distills everything that we believe in. And through the cross, the world, the way of the world, normal worldly behavior is crucified unto us. In other words, we completely remove it from our life and I to the world. And we are crucified to the world. And even the world thinks of us as nothing. But nothing matters in Christ Jesus other than new creation. The Christian faith is built on the foundation of the cross. The cross symbolizing ultimate love and sacrifice. All the political and philosophical ideologies of the world promise a better life to their followers. Christianity, however, prepares its followers for the reality of life, its difficulties, the struggle with suffering, which will come whether we like it or not, and even the witness of martyrdom. Our struggle, our cross, is not to allow the old human in us to win. The old man, the old human, as the same letter describes, Galatians chapter 5. We strive for all in our life to become new creation, genictisi being the original. The old man in us insists on suffering with spiritual pathologies and normal desires and wants. But a life in Christ crucifies our passions and desires. Galatians chapter 5 verse 24. We kill them off. We don't engage in them. We remove them, we extricate them from our life passions and desires. The new creation, the new person in us, the person of faith and spirit is built on the cross of Christ. By following the path of the cross, we deny, we do not feed ourselves and our will. And this could very well turn to be a martyrdom as we are called to vigilance and sacrifice. To ask of ourselves to identify what is destructive to the experience of love and care and how to avoid such things. To what extent we can become peacemakers in conflict with others. How can we overcome the temptations of life our fears, especially the fear of death or loss. To walk the path of the cross is to make the decision to confront not others but ourselves as we truly are, 
to confront ourselves and put the microscope on ourselves honestly and sincerely. To not excuse ourselves and to not despair. The path of the cross is to determine with sober thinking what needs changing within us and to make the decision to change. Today's scripture reading tells us, whosoever are guided by this rule, that the world is dead to them and they to the world, whosoever are guided by this rule will have peace and healing. How true. This is an invitation not to escape the world, not to run away from the worldly things, but to see the world with a different lens. That my priority in life is not what suits me, but what is born of love. That we are called to journey with trust towards the crucified Christ. By being guided by the meaning of the cross, living by this principle, living by this rule, love and sacrifice, we will find peace and healing and life for us and for the people around us. Amen. It appears that um, some of our subscribers haven't ticked the all notifications button. So in the uh, notification section, which is symbolized by a little bell, go into there and tick all notifications. That way, every video that comes up comes through to your mobile or by push notification on your mobile. That way you don't miss out on our services and other videos. Thank you for joining us today.